Last week we looked at how to build Excel waffle charts using conditional formatting and this week I'm going to show you how to build them using a stacked bar chart. Stacked bar waffle charts enable you to show precise proportions, for example fractions of a segment, as opposed to conditional formatting segments which are rounded to a whole percentage point. Now you might also find this approach easier than using the conditional formatting technique. Let's take a look. Here's the data for my waffle chart. At the top I've got a list of my series and their proportions. Now you notice they don't add up to 100% in this example but they can do in yours. Then in column D I've got the cumulative total of values. And here is my chart data. Now the first column just contains the values for the error bars. It's simply the numbers 1 through 10. And typically error bars are used to show margins of error and standard deviations. But in this chart we're going to use them to create the waffle lines by hard keying a specific value for the errors, which you'll see shortly. In the next three columns I have the series. Now each column here has a slightly different max and min formula that calculates the number of segments on each row of the chart that will be filled. I'm not going to explain them here because you can download the file and see for yourself. However, if you want to add more series, you can copy the formula in column E and make sure you just modify it to follow the pattern. So you notice here that it's 10 minus C10 and then it's 10 minus C10 minus D10. So you'll simply have to add minus E10 to that formula. That said, I don't recommend having more than three segments. Okay, to insert the chart, select the data, insert, and here we're going to use the stacked 2D bar chart. Let me bring it over here into view. The first thing we want to do is right click this series, which is the error bars series, and change the series chart type. What we want here is the XY scatter with straight lines. Notice it automatically puts it on the secondary axis. Now click OK and now we have a line for the error bar series. Next I want to format these bars, the stacked bars, so that there's less gap. So I'm going to select one and then control one to open the formatting pane. Let me bring it over here into view and we'll actually move everything so you can see it in a smaller area. So with one of the bars selected, in the series options I want to change the gap width to 0%. Next I want to modify the secondary vertical axis so that the maximum and minimum are fixed. So we want a minimum of 0 and a maximum of 10. Let's do the same for the horizontal axis. And although it's defaulting to 0, we want to fix it so that it doesn't alter when we add the error bars. Next I'm going to select my error bar series and in the plus menu we're going to go to error bars, more options. And in here I want the direction both, no cap, and the fixed value is going to be 10. And you can see they now continue all the way up to the top of the chart. Now that's modified my vertical error bar and you can see that that's what's selected here. I need to do the same for the X error bar. So you can select it from the list and now you can see it's selected the horizontal error bar. So we want both directions, no cap, and a fixed value of 10. Now that we've added our error bars, let's format them so that they have a solid white line. And then repeat that for the vertical ones, just select them, solid line, and white. Now that we've done that, we don't need this line visible in the chart, so select it, and on the formatting we simply want no line. Next I'm going to hide the axes and the chart title, in this case I don't need a chart title, but you can leave it on if you want one. And let's make the chart more square so that my waffle segments appear square. Now you can see the error bar series is still showing in the legend. So let me select that and press delete. Now you can see there's still a vertical line on the left hand side of the chart. This is the major grid line and it can be tricky to select it. So what I tend to do is use control and then my arrow keys to toggle through the different chart elements. You can see now major grid line is selected and here I want to format it with no line. The last thing we want to do is color the rest of the waffle segments. So selecting the plot area, I can select a fill color in a pale shade of gray. It's defaulted to the one I used earlier. And there you have the waffle chart. Using a stacked bar chart, 
and error bars for the vertical and horizontal white lines that give it that waffle effect. I hope you found this technique useful. A special thanks to Nick Hillman, Associate Professor at University of Wisconsin-Madison, who shared his template for waffle charts. You can download the Excel file for this lesson from the link here. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. And why not share it with your friends who might also find it useful. Thanks for watching.